Hi guys, so on this tutorial we're going to be going through setting up a Excel spreadsheet that shows the colours that represent the figures on a, on a pie chart. Now I was asked that we're on a standard spreadsheet like we've got here, we had a little box like this on the left uh, that showed a pass rate, low risk, medium risk and high risk with the associated figures. And when they made a pie chart on their uh, on their report, it came up in the standard colours. Now, obviously, we probably all know that you can change the different colours like this. However, what they wanted to do were ha was to have the associated colours to each risk on the actual pie itself. Um, and at first, I wasn't sure how to do it. So after a little bit of research, I found out how we could do it. And if we go to the next sheet just below here, you can see that we've done it it works. Now there is a little bit of coding that allows you to do it because um, Excel doesn't do it as a standard, it doesn't have an option to do it. So what I'm going to show you is just quickly how to do that and give you the code to do it. So if we just copy this box here and we'll go on to sheet 2 and I'll paste that and then what we'll need to do is we'll need to make the pie chart so we'll just highlight the parts that we want. Go to insert, pie, and we'll just have a standard one. I'll make it a bit bigger so you can see it. And then uh, some figures in. So that's how it comes up as standard. But obviously, what we want to do is uh, get it working so it represents the colours. So if you press Alt and 11, and it will go to the uh, the VB area. And this is sheet one, and this is the code that makes it work. So if we just copy and paste this, and we'll double click onto sheet two and we'll paste it. I'll just give you a minute if you want to pause it and write that down. And most important part here is you'll need to make sure that that does say sheet activate. So when the sheet is activated, when the spreadsheet is loaded up, it will run this macro and it will do what you need it to do. So once we've done that, we just need to click save. And we can close this down. Obviously you see that nothing's changed at the moment. We'll just save that, close it down, go to load it back up again. And as you can see now under sheet two, it's now represented the uh, to the past low, medium, and high risks. So I'll just go back to the code so you can get that. Cheers guys!